China's fast telescope reports signal from aliens, then deletes the report. Scientists have detected a strange and persistent radio signal that sounds like a heartbeat in a distant galaxy. Just like Jodie Foster's character in the movie Contact, scientists have come across a mysterious signal from a galaxy far, far away. In a study published on Wednesday, the journal Nature said that they've detected a very unusual radio burst. It has a pattern that's similar to a heartbeat. And for now, the exact location and cause of that burst is unknown. And of course, the Pope is ready to interfere because the Vatican is actively looking for alien life. The Vatican has their own telescope ready and prepared. These Jesuits say that they're ready to deal with aliens. In Luke 21, 11, it talks about a moment. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. I often wonder what will happen to society when fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. The entities in this world, I believe that they've made some sort of contact. It's just that the contact that they have made is with the father of all lies, Satan himself. And there is no new thing under the sun. In 2 Corinthians 11, 14, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And if you look at every society, every world culture, you will find star gods, you will find some sort of beings that came down to earth and interfered with mankind in one way or another. It is well known to all non-politically influenced students of history and legitimate anthropology that almost all Indian tribes in the Western Hemisphere preserve oral traditions about the ancient appearance of a white bearded god or gods who arrived or emerged in ancient times to instruct and organize his people. Quetzalcoatl to the Aztec, Kuku Khan to the Maya, but some of the most interesting versions of this widespread tradition comes from Peru, where this legendary deity is known as Contiki Viracocha, as documented by numerous highly acclaimed Peruvian historians, who when considered together, give us a reasonably detailed description of the traditional hero's physical appearance, personality, and activities among the ancestors of the Andean Indians. In Genesis 6, you see the same story as well, where these fallen angels came upon the earth and wrecked havoc just before Noah's flood. A lot has been said of the great Euphrates River, where in Revelation 16, 12, and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And if we look at the great Euphrates River right now, it is certainly very interesting to see what is happening in the Euphrates River. One thing I know for sure is that from the moment that this crazy Puerto Rican was born, I've seen aliens everywhere. From E.T. the extraterrestrial to ALF, which I always thought was a dog, but apparently ALF is an alien. So <laughs> I always thought ALF was like a ch like a big chihuahua. But, you know, when you're little, that's what you think, right? But he's an alien. Then when you look at cartoons like Looney Tunes, they had aliens. Men in Black, the films, they made alien beings a friendly thing for kids, for children, and even for adults. You have your own set of alien entertainment with Marvel and DC Comics, where people celebrate beings that are half human, half angelic beings. People literally are celebrating the films on Earth. But then again, we live in a society that's already accepting designer babies, transhumanism, and the merging of man with the machine. In many films, they even talk about alien raptures. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how Quickly, our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already in the <laughs> What a classic scene. 1980 what? 85? 82? L Lizzie here on the floor tells us that's the year she was born. 
Uh, we could not talk life on other planets without the classic clip from E.T. right there. Interestingly, the Vatican. Just finishing up, this is the Vatican now, a five-day conference on aliens. Father Jonathan Morris, Fox News contributor, back with us. Father, good morning to you. What a great movie that was. <laughs> it was a wonderful movie. Drew Barrymore, and off she went. This wasn't just Moscow. New York, London, Paris, Tokyo, all reported invisible invaders. They came here with a plan. They can see us. Start over. So everything can start over. I've chosen you. Both of you. You have to take care of Abby now. You have to be strong. time with kids who don't run around with cameras and monster makeup we're filming tonight midnight okay don't forget i won't over and action Even show aliens coming and rapturing people and taking them away. Prompting some to even say, what if that's going to be a scapegoat if a rapture happens? And no, this is not a rapture or post-rapture video, but just telling you some of the things that are happening out there. Whatever is happening, one thing for sure, is that Satan is not creative. And it's the same old lies that we've seen of old, repackaged, retold. In our modern day and age, when you look at the weather, I'm in Florida and we're in a position that we're actually having a hurricane. Another one hit us in a few days. I don't know about you, but I'm not ready for another hurricane. The last one was difficult to endure and recover from. And now we're having another hit. And that is in America. Imagine these countries all over the world that are actually living in third world nation conditions. Things are going to get very Testy. Luke 21, 25 to 28 tells us, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves rowing. Men's heart failing them for fear. Men's heart failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heavens shall be shaken. Could you imagine a day when you stand out there and you're looking at the heavens and you're seeing the stress 
you're seeing fearful sights, whatever these fearful sights may be. Jesus Christ is coming, and he's coming very, very soon. I don't know when that soon is, but the one thing that I want to encourage you and warn you on is that while we wait for his return, we may see some crazy stuff happening and popping off. In Galatians 1, 8 through 9 tells us, But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Notice that it says, But though we, or an angel from heaven, there may be entities, there may be beings that can show up at any point in time, and they may say that they are the way. If you look at Egyptian culture and you look at the hieroglyphics, it's obvious that they worshipped some sort of entities. When you look at the world culture, all of I mean, it's obvious that something crazy happened. And as we can see in our modern day and age, it's still happening. And for some reason, people, instead of trusting the word of God, they will trust entities and fallen angels and what their messages are. The Vatican is spending millions of dollars looking for alien messages and alien signals. NASA is doing the same. China is doing the same. Every nation is doing the same. In CERN, they're doing the same. They're making contact. It's just that the contact that they're making is with the Father of all lives. And as their lives continue to be expanded upon, I want you and your family to stand firm in the word of Jesus Christ. And I want you and your family not to be like the many people that their hearts are failing them for fear. Because God has warned you of the things to come. And I don't know about you, but I am persuaded. You know, Romans 8, 35 through 39, it tells us, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? Or distress? Or persecution? or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? And in verse 38 it says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities. Do you ever find yourself that you feel so heavy? That you know that you're, you're, you're just, everything's feeling okay in the physical, but in the spiritual realm you feel the heaviness, man. Well, here it tells you, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any, nor any other creature, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm going to cut the video short. I plan on making a longer video on the topic this weekend, but I know that when the storm hits, we're probably going to lose power. So I'd rather just cut it short and upload some it's been like. I don't know what you're feeling like. I don't know anything about you. You don't know anything about me. The one thing I do know is that God is awesome and that God never fails. He never fails. He's an awesome God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your dear son, Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for persuading us. We want to thank you for warning us in your scriptures of the things that are to come. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, because as you tell us that we need to be persuaded that there's not an angel, there's not a principality, there's not a power, there's nothing in the thing of present or the thing that is to come that can separate us from your love. Heavenly Father, remind the people that are listening to this audio right now that you are still God and that you are still in control and regardless of their circumstance and regardless of their situation. You are still God. And there is no tribulation. There is no distress. There is no famine. There is no extreme weather. There is nothing that can separate us from your love. And it is when we understand that, that we're able to see how beautiful, beautiful you really are. Because while men's heart are going to fail them because of all of the fear and the fearful sights, we're going to have your peace because we have your awesome, awesome Holy Spirit within us and you live within us, God, and you control us every single day, guiding us, convicting us, and watching for us, and giving us wisdom and knowledge so that we may be able to endure until the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is awesome. So family, according to what's happening with Hurricane Nicole, it looks like you know, we're going to be hit again, which is not a good thing. Uh, Florida is not in a position right now that they should get any type of a storm because of the amount of water that already fell the first time. 
So there's a lot of areas in, in Kissimmee and in South Florida. There's a lot of areas that you pass by right now and the water still has not receded for some reason. And it hasn't even rained that much, but there's a lot of areas that still have a lot of water. You may not get a video this upcoming weekend because last time we were without a power for like a week. So if it comes through the East Coast, it's probably gonna hit us again and we may be without power for a hot minute. But I'll update you guys and I'll make videos as time progresses. Love you guys very, very much. Continue to seek Jesus Christ. Consider taking a few seconds to share this video. Text it to a friend, a family member, or share it on Facebook, however you prefer. Thank you again for taking the time to pass by. Um, you taking the time to pass by and watch these videos goes a very long way. Thank you very much. And thank you for your support as well. Thank you for supporting the ministry. God bless you guys and have a blessed, blessed week and be encouraged, okay? God's got your back. He's an awesome guy.